Let's start by talking about one of the most basic and archaic ways to cut a hole in the ice, and that's using a hand chisel. Now, safety, again, is always the most important aspect. The blades on these chisels um, are typically pretty sharp. You always want to cover them when they're not in use. You always want to be conscious of where that blade is in relation to where you are, where your kids, where your friends are when you're fishing. Now, these chisels are great to have. I always bring one with me especially early and late season when the ice is thin. Um, it's, a, it's a great way to chop a quick hole, probably only take you a minute or so. During midwinter, when the ice is, is thick, say even thicker than six, seven inches, using a hand chisel can be quite a task. Um, take you maybe upwards of five, six minutes to cut a decent hole. But they're great to have, especially for checking the ice um, close to shore when you come out on a water body. There's really nothing much to it other than simply taking a firm grasp on it and just starting to cut into the ice, chipping it out as you go, rotate the blade, and just continue with it until you hit that water. One good tip is, and I don't have it here today, but is to always attach a rope with a tied loop to the top of this. You can put that around your wrist, put it around your shoulder, so just in case when you finally go through, if you lose your grip on your, your chisel, you're not going to lose it because that rope will help save it.